Hello everyone, welcome to Kavi's Corner. Today we're going to make a very nostalgic recipe that is favorite of mine that my mom used to make growing up. It's called apple kheer and anytime you have apples in the house, go ahead and enjoy this recipe. And this is a signature dish that my mom had come up with and it has always been a crowd pleaser, especially at our dinner parties and everything. We used to enjoy this and always had people guessing what are the ingredients. So today I'm going to reveal the secret to you. And this is three apples that I will be grating. You need to remove the skin and grate it and use it towards the end. Okay, we don't want to cook the apples and then it will oxidize if you, you know, grate ahead and keep. So do this portion towards the end. Once the milk is cooled, then you grate your apples and add to the mixture. Okay, we have about one and a half to one and a quarter of sugar. Depending on your taste, you adjust it. And this is a special ingredient that is in the Indian store. Kalakhand, they call it. And you can make it yourself using ricotta cheese, about eight to 12 ounces. Add a little bit of uh, sugar, like quarter cup and some cardamom and you can bake it at 350 for about 40 minutes and you will have a solid ricotta cheese that you crumble and add to the milk mixture and this is ready made and bought in the Indian store we have about half a gallon of lactose free milk but you can use regular milk we at our home are lactose intolerant so we go with it but you can get the whole fat milk works very well and then we have one can of condensed milk and about one pinch of salt any desert needs salt so go ahead and add that and about half a teaspoon of crushed or ground cardamom powder this i keep always always a stash of it for my tea as well as my deserts very handy but make sure it's an airtight lid so you don't lose the flavors and this is the interesting part we are going to use about a tablespoon of or sultanas these are the sultana then we have one tablespoon of pistachios and then we have cashew nuts about uh, 10 to 15 of them and we have almonds also about 15 that you can either chop up you can chop up everything other than the chiroli not chiro okay these are very small but adds nice nutty flavor anyway so you can put them all through a food processor and chop them fine or you can basically chop like what I have done slivers everything gets chopped other than the chironji so these are our ingredients so first we're going to boil our milk and then add the rest so here's my pan let's first pour in the milk before we turn on the stove otherwise it's going to scald at the bottom and also this dessert needs to be made in the morning if you have a dinner party in the evening or if you're serving for the afternoon do it the night before because it does need to be served chilled let's go ahead turn on our stove let this come to a nice boil We're going to take one tablespoon of cornstarch, any cornstarch, into a small bowl and we're going to make a slurry. This is going to act as a thickener for our milk. So add about half a cup of milk and mix it well and we're going to add to the boiling milk. Add our cornstarch and give it a quick whisk. So let's add about half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. This is saffron about two pinches give it a good mix add one pinch of salt every desert needs salt add in our condensed milk our milk is thickened considerably let's go ahead and add our ricotta cheese or kalakand let it mingle well this kalakand does have sweetness to it so adjust your sugar based on it so this is one and a quarter. I'm going to add half of it and then hold back the rest. And then I will check and see if we need more and add accordingly. The sugar is perfect. Let this simmer for three to five minutes and let the cornstarch thicken further. And we will turn off the stove and it will thicken as it cools down. So don't worry, it looks a little loose right now, but that is perfectly fine. Once it cools down, we'll add our nuts and raisins as well as the grated apples. 